What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Idaho to kick off the conference schedule and it was a struggle throughout. Offensively we just couldn't get much going. We eventually was able to take control of the game but our quarterback play just hasn't been where it needs to be. Hopefully we can fix some of that today. But we got the win. That's all that matters. We're 2-1 and one, and Today, we're taking on Boise State. Now, we beat them the first two times we played them in the Dynasty. And it looks like they're struggling still. We've got more talent than they do now. It took us a couple years to get to that point. And from what I can tell, they don't do much of anything right. Offensively, defensively. The runner pro style offense, 4-3 defense. So I kind of know what to expect there. But of course, we have to work off their talent and adjust accordingly. Now, let's go to recruiting. See if we have to make any adjustments here. We are down to about 10 guys, about 9. And we'll just go through every one of these just to make sure we're in good shape. Halfback, we're still good there. We moved up his list, which is good. We stay the same for this guard. We're in the top 5 for this guard. We're at the top of the list for the corner. I'm just looking for any negative pitches just to make sure we don't waste our time with some of that. Center, looks like we're in good shape here. Moving right up the list. We're moving up the list for this defensive tackle. And it seems like we're doing okay. Well, let me see. Six, seven. We are down to eight guys. So we'll just keep going after them. We're either moving up or staying put. We're not going down with anybody. So it looks like the points we're putting on some of these people is good enough. So we'll just leave everything as is. We can go to Sports Illustrated, and I don't really care about the first few things for now. Let's go to Conference Standings and just check out the team info screens. Again, Washington is out for basically the rest of the season. He'll be back for maybe the last game of the year, if not the bowl game. You look at some of our offensive stats, and it just doesn't look all that great. Passing Gronk, six touchdowns, six interceptions. When he's not making a good throw, he's making a really bad one. Hopefully we can clean that up somehow. Hopefully he just simply plays better and makes better throws today. Running the ball, it's pretty much non-existent. We just don't have the talent on the line nor our running back to do that consistently. All of our talent is in the passing game. Ferguson is having a good season, but we got other guys putting in their work as well on that end. Look at the defense. Doherty, or middle linebacker, is playing great. Kalilamoku, I may have butchered that. His sacks are going pretty good. He's our impact outside linebacker if i'm not mistaken and then we don't have many guys with more than one perception or interception we may have three guys tied for that i'm not quite sure let's check out boise state they don't have any injuries but you look at their quarterback play it's just not great Ian johnson if you remember him he was the big running back back when boise state was at their height uh, I guess 10 or so years ago. He was the running back, a number 41, really talented. I'm guessing he's an impact guy. We'll find out here in a little bit. But that seems to be their only strength is him putting up his numbers. The rest of it doesn't say a whole lot to me, although they got one guy putting up some really good numbers on the tackle front just through two games. Wyoming beat them by six in the previous game. All right, I think that's all we need to say. We can go ahead and play the game. Let's see if I can fast forward this a little bit. We haven't had anybody get in any trouble the last couple seasons. I think I'm a firm believer, and I have no proof of this, but I think the more you over-discipline, the more the game kind of gets it, the more your players kind of get it. Hey, I don't need to get in the trouble, otherwise he'll suspend me for half the season, which, of course, I do that just to get that bar down. Looks like we got some decent weather. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. Looks like we have a full crowd tonight. Well, the sun's gone down, but the temperature is still high for tonight's game between the Yep, going to be hot, but no crazy wind and of course no rain. The football season's just getting started. Very early into the season, so all of that doesn't mean much. Hopefully we can have a clean game today. The Broncos are looking for an upset in this one, but Kirk, I just don't see that happening. Hawaii looks no Oh, that's cool. They're going to show our number one corner. 
That's good for him. He had a big game against Idaho. From what I remember, he made some good plays for us. That's cool to see. They're picking us as expected. We'll go to the coin toss. They want it, and they will kick the ball. So we're going to get the ball first. Let's go to the depth chart and look at their roster. Starting quarterback, he can't run the ball, so we can go after him some today, but I'm guessing he can throw it pretty well, and it looks like he can. Look at his backup. Oh, it's an 82, not a 92. He's got good throwing power, the backup does. Hopefully they don't get down to the third string guy who can run a little bit. And as expected, Ian Johnson is an impact guy. He's only an 82 overall, but I'm guessing everything's going to go through him. An amazing fullback. 97 overall, 84 speed. He can catch. Wow, that I could use that, that guy. Not in this offense, but in other offenses, I would have a lot of fun with him. Receiving core, just kind of there. Three guys that are about even with each other. They're, let's see, tight end. They got one decent one, but he can't run. Can't catch either. Looking at their offensive line, an amazing left guard. And, the, and a pretty good right tackle. So one of the better offensive lines we'll face this year, at least in the conference. Like I said, they run a 4-3, 70, and an impact guy, 80 overall on the other end. Then you got defensive tackle. One's pretty good. The other one's just it's a bit of a drop-off after that. Looking at their linebackers. Uh, that's a big issue for them right there. Uh, corner. Big drop-off after their number one dude. I mean, it's a massive drop-off after that. So maybe we can exploit that today. We're going to throw a lot of short stuff anyways due to our limited line and such. So these corners are going to have their hands full today. Free safety, 82, not bad. 84 strong safety, not bad. So their weakness seems to be at their corners. And I guess their linebackers weren't the greatest in the world. They got a freshman kicker who's not very good and an average punter. All right, I think we're ready to get this show on the road. I do have to make one sub package adjustment, and the rest of it should be good to go. Let's see if Davis can do something out of the gate. Get to the 25. I can go ahead and adjust this while it's on my mind. We'll do the twin halfback. So we are on the left hash. We'll start off with a screen. Not a whole lot there. I think we lost the yard. We are on the right hash. Do curl read. Zone dime. I would love to run it, but I feel like we need a little more extra yardage. Let's do a little hot route. Let's see if that'll help a little bit. Looks like it's not going to. Good little play there. Pick up a solid gain. Almost get the first. They blitz. I don't know if you noticed that. They were coming with the heat on the right side. So that told me that there was a lot of room over there. So that's just who I went to. I was wanting to go to my post, but they went cover three, so I think I made the right call. We'll go RB deep. We're going zone here. Hopefully we can get another decent flat route going. Ooh, terrible throw. He caught it, though. Okay, let's get back under center. Let's do triangle. We're going man dime. I probably will leave this just because it's man. We got decent man beaters in this for this play. Going one high. He had to come back for it a little bit, so we're not going to get a whole lot of yardage. On the left hash, second and five. We'll go curls. Man dime. What I can try to do is maybe I can take that slant and pick that linebacker who is on my halfback because that's who the ball is going to go to. Going to have to throw this kind of quick. Just pick up the first down with Larson. Good play there. Let's do slot corners. Looks like they're going to zone us to death today. Uh, let's... Let's do a slant, make it a little quicker. See if Rankley can pick up a few yards there. Not a whole lot. 
We are still on the right hash. Let's go zig outs at a five wide. Going man here. Probably will go to somebody on the left. Good little play there to Ferguson. Pick up a right there. Good deal. Good gain. Now, what we can do, that line, this was a bad matchup for them. A linebacker on, little, on Ferguson, he had no chance. So that was an easy decision. We are on the right hash. Let's go. We got some room. Let's try to go after that safety. We may be able to get a touchdown if we get the blocking. Let's see here. Yeah, good defense. I think the defensive tackle came through. Done a little stunt right there. Neither one of them had a chance. That's So we're going to have to get past that one. We're on the left hash steal. What can we call? Uh, let's go back. Zig outs. We're going man. I probably need to do this instead. Good throw. Wow, great play. Good job, Gronk. I'm glad he's seems to be throwing a little bit better today so far. Right where it needed to be. Almost get the first down, or the uh, touchdown. Let's go. Let's do a screen before we decide just to run the ball and get in the end zone. We'll see if we can get a passing touchdown. Oh, uh, just got in. Just enough. All right, good deal. That's a good drive to start the game. We'll take that any day of the week. We will kick an extra point, and then we will get on defense for the first time. I'm going to run a lot of one high today. I'm assuming they're going to give the ball to their running back. I may miss this. Nope. I got an impact kicker, I forgot. He can he can hide some of my deficiency. He said kicking the ball. So let's see. They got no impact guys on the back end. So I'll just kick it like normal. And hopefully we can get a decent stop. I got a humongous kicker. Man, he's a monster. I, well, that's my punter. My bad. Yeah, he's our freshman punter. I thought he looked humongous. So we're going to go five wide out of the gate, so we'll just go quarters out of nickel. Let's do this. Get a five-man front. Big gain. Big play. Huge. I just sat right in front of the hitch. Thankfully, that was right in front of me. That was just a luck on my, on, you know, my part. I just stood right in front of him. That's who he went to, so all right, we'll take that. Okay, we are on the right hash. Let's go. Tight end streaks. We're going zone. We'll just do a pivot route here. Great play. Almost got sacked, but that was a perfect throw. Gronk is feeling it right now. His, most of his throws, my right tackle just got obliterated. Right in stride. I mean, just right where it needs to be. You can't beat that. You can't teach it either. You just hope that he makes a good throw. Now, we are on the, what, eight-yard line. We can, we can go back. Uh, well, let's do halfback out. We haven't called this yet. They're going zone. Dime. I may run this, so we can go... We can do that. We'll probably go to the right. Get some yards. We're on the four. We can... Let's just run the ball. And it helps that they're going with a dime look, which is fine. Hopefully we can just get an easy punch. Nope. Good defense by the defender right there. On the four. We can... Let's do a direct and see how they handle it. We're going 4-3. This may be a terrible idea. We're doing that. We're going to go with that instead. I think they're still going man, and they are. 
get a touchdown. Good deal. I thought that was a good adjustment. They went man, so I went with a decent man beater. I think they was going to stop my run play. So it's good to see Ferguson in the end zone. Seems like it's been a while. Well, that's the start that you want. Let's keep it up. Playing much better than we did against Idaho for now. That first quarter against the Vandals was awful. We were down two scores heading to the second. We have flipped that script. Let's see if we can get a decent kick here. I just can't time it just right enough. I'm glad he made that tackle. Looks like he had some room to run. They are going to do that. So I think we're going to try to stop the run if possible. Let's see if I can contain on the outside. They're going to pass it. I will take it. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Well, two picks. Okay. That was an interesting throw. Well, we don't have to look at it. There's really nothing to see, but we'll take that any day of the week. Let's go triangle. Zone dime. I will go. I will audible. We'll go to the right to get away from that impact guy. Big play. Big play by Scruggs. Good adjustment. We are on the right hash steal. I wonder. We can try the double screen from here. This may be a bad idea, but they're going zone, so we probably will be okay on this one. Yeah, we're going to get six points. Good deal. All right, 21 to nothing. Feels like what Tennessee's been doing the last couple weeks. Just getting a humongous start, a great start in the first quarter. I don't know what Rackley's doing. He's going to the concession stand to get a hot dog or something. We may see some backups today if we keep playing like this. We'll see how the second quarter goes. One more interception by that quarterback, and we may end up seeing the backup. Just a night and day difference from what we saw in the in the Idaho game. I just can't get it right where I needed it. Still a decent kick. My eight-foot punter just got annihilated, and it looks like they are going to score right here. Ah. Wasn't expecting that. And that's my, my punter. Injured his chest. That's probably not a big ordeal. And now you know why sometimes I don't want to kick it like normal, because you got plays like that where nobody blocks. I want, we can go back and look at this. Did anybody get a touch on him? No, he just played it great there. Good block, and the, just the, this was the key block right here. Just nudged him, just enough for that guy to keep going. Well, thankfully we got a two-score lead. Well, we'll get back on offense and see if we can get that touchdown back. This has been one long quarter. A lot of points scored. Let's see if Ferguson can, can create some magic. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> no flags. Please, no flags. No flags. <laughs> Woo! Good for Ferguson. Good for him. Wow. Just great block. And we can go back and look at this. Didn't get touched. I just saw a crease and kept on going, and that block by 80 right by Davis is what sealed it there. And Ferguson is just fast enough where that kicker can't keep up with him, and it's off to the races after that. Let's see if we can get a decent thumbnail shot from here. That's an awesome one right there. Really cool. Crazy game so far. Two kickoff returns, two interceptions. Thankfully, neither interception was by us, and we barely made that extra point. Well, 
We'll try this again. Wow, this is a terrible kick. The kick meter is not the most favorite thing in the game, that's for sure. You gotta be kidding. I'd... <laughs> wow, and we got another player hurt. What in the world's going on? Do I gotta do high kicks now to avoid it? I mean, just no blocking whatsoever, or no penetration through the gaps. Look at just great blocking by everybody. That's what do you do? I guess I'll do high kicks going forward to avoid that stuff. I mean, and we got starters out there, and it still didn't make a difference. Now, why don't we got some offensive guys? I've never, I've never fooled around. I'll go ahead and show you. We can go to in-game strategy and go to formation subs. I have never fooled around with this stuff right here. I mean, do you think it's? I mean, we got a lot of speedsters. It's Wide receivers, it's a lot of secondary guys, a lot of wide receivers, and a couple of linebackers. I don't know what the strategy is here. I'm not going to begin to think what that can be. But for whatever reason, we just gave up two kickoffs pretty easily. And it's going to have to force me to do high kicks because I'm getting tired of giving those up. So let's get back on offense to see if we can get that touchdown back. Let's see if Davis can do something here. Nope. On the right hash, or left hash, let me go. We're going to try that streak play one more time. Maybe we have a chance to get around this right tackle. Maybe he can block for us a little bit better. Nope. Okay, somehow he got a first down out of that. I don't know how. My right tackle just, yeah, he just got beat. So I had to go back over to my shallow. He got hit when he threw it. And we sneak through that somehow. <laughs> That's what a goofy game. Okay, left hand steal. Let's go back to curls. Man dime. I'm gonna leave it as is. We can do some hot routing though, just in case. Just don't fumble it. Pick up five there. We can go. Pearl Reed, and that's the end of the quarter. Brian Bryant is out four weeks. And let's just go ahead and get to the end of the quarter. There we go. So Brian Bryant, I don't know who that is. I should know my own players. Let's go to injury report. He's our backup strong safety. So you go to our depth chart. Let me just see here. Do we got a third guy? I think we do. Thankfully, we do, who's just as good as him. So, Jeff Anderson is now going to be our second guy for the next month. Okay. Second down and five. They're going man? I will probably leave it as is. Because I like the man beater. It's not the best throw when we didn't get the first. So, it's what, third and one? We're in the middle of the field. We can try this deep cross up. Not a big fan of that shift. Great throw. A little worried. I thought that strong safety done a great job of covering it. He finally moved over to the left a bit, just enough. But that was a spot on throw by Gronk. He's having a great game so far. Okay, we are back on the right hash. Let's see what haven't we called. Five wide. Let's go back to RB deep. It's first and ten. Going zone. Let's we'll see what happens if we do that with Rackley. Will Ferguson get open a little bit more? Get open field tackle there. Second and seven. Uh, let's go back to tight end streaks. Let's see if we can go back to Davis. The Warriors line up with two go here. He back. Looking, short Not the best throw, but just enough to get the first down. Now, from here, I'll show you something. As soon as he catches the ball, I am not using the speed button whatsoever. If I was using the speed button right here, I probably would have ran out of bounds because you lose all of your... You lose all complete control of your ball carrier 
once you've got the speed button. It just takes them a while to adjust. But since I didn't use the speed button, I was able to quickly get back up field enough to get the first down. So something to think about that. You know, something to think about, I should say, in those situations. Uh, let's see. We're still on the right hash. Let's go. I have an idea. Let's. I'm going to go to corner combo. Zone nickel. This will go to G Mullen. Good throw. Right in stride. Cut up field. Still on the right hash. Let's go to zig outs. Man, we are going to go to Ferguson here. That safety or that linebacker is going to be on him. Looks like it's going to be the safety. Touchdown. He's going to get in. Good for Ferguson. His third of the day. Good deal. Now, I was about to get sacked. Left tackle got abused. Great play. We'll take it. All right. So we got the touchdown back again. <laughs> this time, we're going to high kick it going forward and let our defense do the work. And I about missed that one. Man, my kicking skills are just subpar. I just don't do it enough. Need to practice it more. But who wants to practice kicking, you know? So let's high kick this thing. Force, no, he's going to run out with it. It's fine with me. All right, let's do a one high. If I was them, I'd give it to their impact player. Let's do this. I'll try to contain the edge. Good deal. I was able to force them inside. We're going to take a chance on a zone blitz. I think they're going to pass. Maybe a bad idea, though. We'll see what they do. Go with a toss play. There he goes. There he goes. Pick up a first down. Going to force me to go back to one high. Let's see if I can contain the edge here. Ah. Good throw. Pick up the first down there. I'm still sticking. Let's do a 3 4. Let's, uh, yes, let's just go ahead and try it. I just couldn't get off of him. Dang it. That's right, just another good run. Defensive end, I don't think, done it. Oh, it was the talk. I hate when the toss play works for them. It doesn't work for me. So they're going with a bigger set. So we'll do the same thing. Boise State hasn't been very successful this season with their red zone attempts. No, not at all. When they get inside the 20, they Let's go here. Kick, fumble the ball, or commit a penalty. Everything but put points up on the board. There's a missed tackle. Pick up some, what, three yards there. Back to a one high. They shift on the defensive line. Let's do a five man front again. Here's the give. He's hit. Look at this. He's just bouncing off, guys. Third and two. We'll do goal line. I'm not never a big fan of goal line in general, but we'll try it. Boise State lines up in a goal line. Ah, just good blocking. Hoss play again, I swear. Well, they're sticking with it, you know. Thank the Lord we got, a, you know, a decent lead. But now it's a minute and a half. We need to try to score one more touchdown before then and try to use up all the, the time if possible. That was an easy drive for them. They just ran the ball, ran the ball, and ran the ball some more, and we couldn't stop it. I like to chew up the rest of this clock. We'll see if we can do that. Go, Davis. Go, Davis. Good play there. 
left hash. Let's just go. The rollout stuff isn't working all that great right now. Let's do this instead. Ah, ooh, he picked him. Oh, that worked. Good deal. You can go back and look at this. I think it was Davis who picked the guy who's defending our halfback. Nope, I guess it was G. Mullen here. Good for him. It was, I can't get my cursor on him. All right, come on. Bumped into him just enough. So the slant worked. Uh, let's go back to RB deep. They're going man. I'm going to hot route Rackley just in case. Going cover two. Good throw. Just didn't get out of bounds, which is okay. It's second and six. We can try this again. We'll try it one more time. But we're struggling. They got their one of their impact guys on the edge, so this... <laughs> This may be a disaster. We'll see. Not the blitz anyways. Yeah. So it's third and one uh, from here. Let's go back to zig outs. We're going man. Get out of bounds there with Ferguson. So it's first and ten. We are on the left hash steel, aren't we? Uh, let's see. Let's go back to tight end streaks. We're going zone. I like this one better than the other version from Ace Normal. We just got better routes that I think work together just a little bit more. Ooh, big play. Ferguson's feeling it. All right, we are on the six. Since we're on the six, let's go. Let's go screen. They're going man. We'll see if this works or not. Uh, it's, this could get really interesting when it is man. We're going to bring up Davis as such. Put him behind Ferguson. Ooh. Well, <laughs> we'll take it. The guy over pursued big time. You see the corner right here. I think he was going for the interception or I don't know. I was hoping Ferguson was going to block him, but it didn't happen. He just got there late. That's what happened. So we left 32 seconds on the clock, which I think will be okay. <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm still going to high kick it. Please, ah, just another. It looks like a decent kick. Make good decisions because they do get the ball start of the second half. Eh, he just, I can't time it right. Well, we're doing a high kick, so it doesn't make a difference, but. Five wide. We'll go quarters. If we can force their offense to pass the ball more, then I think we have a real good chance of really stretching the lead even more. Intercept that. Good defense. Good, good defense. They are doing that. Let's go 3-4. They got 29 seconds left, so they're not going to try to go deep right now. I could be dead wrong, but we got four guys back there, so we should be okay. Wow, just a stud ball player. What a ball player. Impact guy. So we can get another touchdown if we can try. Left hash again. I need to find a better left hash. I need to find more left hash plays. I may switch up something later on. All right, they're going zone. Let's do that. Ah, right, overthrew it. Second and 10. Let's go. We'll go back to curls. It's been pretty effective for us, but they're going zone dime. We can do that. Ah, just get out of bounds. Just got nothing out of that one. The flat route messed us up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll go deep attack. They're going man. We will leave it as is. Ooh, they're doing that. 
Let's see if I can make this throw. First down. <laughs> Call a timeout. Whew, okay. We are on the 15. We can go. I'm going to do another screen. Ooh, they're going man. I'm, I'm kind of thankful they're doing this. Let's see if we can make this work again. There we go. That's much better. We didn't get out of bounds. We're going to have to call another timeout. We're on the five. What do I call here? Uh, let's just run the ball. If we can't get in here, we got one timeout left. I may just kick the field goal. But it looks like we're going to get in. All right. Who is expecting 49 points in the first half? Raise your hand. Not me. That's for sure. Three interceptions helps. Of course, thankfully, we're keeping it clean today. Gronk has played great. He's had a couple of bad throws, but he played. He has played so much better today than he did against Idaho. Not even close. His throws are just so much sharper. So another five seconds, I'm going to do another high kick. I don't think they'll try to do anything crazy, but I'll do a basic cover too, just make sure everybody is covered. I wish the clock would go as soon as you kick it, but it doesn't. On the 32, they're going five wide, so we'll go to cover two man. I'll control defensive end. Let's control this guy. That's good defense. Somebody get him. Somebody make a play. Whew. So they did try to go for the Hail Mary. All right. Great first half. We gave up a couple of kickoff returns, but other than that, it's been great. 277 yards in the first half. We haven't run the ball much. We haven't had to, but look at our passing game. Just incredible. It's about as good as we've played all season in the passing game. Five touchdowns already. We'll check out his individual stuff here in a minute. Red zone, we're playing great. Both teams are doing good in the third down, but the problem with them is they've thrown three interceptions. No fumbles today for either team yet. Let's go check out Gronk's. 29-31, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. It's a perfect game. You couldn't ask for anything better. I'm so thankful. I was really getting worried. You know, we went through three games of his and six touchdowns, six picks. It's just been very high and low with him. But he's really turned around today. Now, knock on wood, hopefully he doesn't throw a bunch of picks in the second half. I want to get a good enough lead where we can put in our second string. May need another touchdown or so before we do that. So you think them being down 28 points, they would like to start throwing the ball more. But maybe they won't. We'll do quarters. Bad throw. One for seven today. Wow, their quarterback's terrible. For whatever reason, he's just not playing well. Of course, a lot of those were interceptions. I get that. I'm going to do a, a one high. I think they're going to try to make up those yards with some running. Ooh, I'm going quarters. My bad. I'm calling the wrong play. Yeah. Nothing you can do against that impact linebacker. And we're going to go cloud. Wow, that's their quarterback's awful. Idaho quarterback's much better. Almost got the sack. We'll get the ball back, see if we can go right down the field and score. That one or two more times, then we'll put in some subs. Somebody get a block on the right. Right hash. Let's go. The curl read. 
Zone dime. I may audible to a run play. We haven't got to do that in a while. I heard something. Somebody's going off and on. I've had a, the worst time with a terabyte. I got a terabyte that I've had forever. The USB input, it's just, it's been messing up on me. I think that's what that is. So that's good defense. We lost two yards. On the right hash, we can go. Let's go halfback out. They're going man. We'll go to Davis. They never go cover zero when I call this play. So we'll just go here. Get some of those yards back. Third and five. We'll go zig out, see if we can just pick up five yards with a pivot. I'm going to go to Ferguson, just keep it simple. Ah, dang it. Fourth and one. We'll call the same play. No, let's do this. We should get a first down regardless if we go to the flat. We should. We're about to find out. This could be really dumb. I'm going to do it anyways. There we go. Fumble. Uh, get it, get it, get it. So how did he get stopped there? So he broke the record for most yards in a game for a receiver for the school. Interesting, they, they called Davis down. Whatever. Don't juke right here when you're surrounded by three guys. That was dumb on my part. That's why he fumbled it. So how did he, did he put his knee down? They called him down right there. That's so weird, they called him down. Okay. It's first and ten. I feel like I'm forgetting I can call something from here. I don't want to do play action, that's not going to help us. Cross post, let's do cross post. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Seven yards. I'm going to probably keep this simple terrible throw that took forever for him to get over there too that was a slow I don't know wonder he bumped into the defender no wonder it took him forever to get over there I probably could have went over here too that's okay so it's second and ten still on the left hash right, let's just go back get some yards back they're going zone I'd love to run it here, but I'll. The Warriors line up with we'll wait. Overthrew it. So we will. I guess we'll go back to deep attack. I did not mean for that to rhyme. Going zone. Ooh, ah, drop it. Wasn't the best throw, but it was catchable. It took forever for him to get open. I was like, is my offensive line going to hold up? Me backing up, that probably didn't help things. Did you notice? Look, okay, look right here. Great blocking all around. As soon as I backed up, they made a move. Man, that's kind of a revelation there. I just wasn't expecting that. As soon as I moved, they moved as well. The defensive ends and linemen them is what I'm saying. Then the defensive linemen make their moves. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll just punt it. I mean, we got a big lead. It's okay. I'm going to try to go over here. This may be a decent punt. Not bad, but I think he's going to return it. Ah. He's going to get it at the 19 or so. At the 20. I think they're going to run it. Let's go right here. Let's just try to pluck up this right tackle. Takes a couple guys to hit him to bring him down. I'm going to stick with a one high. I think they'll go right back to that. Let's see if I can do something with his center. Went with a halfback read, and he's going to squirm out of that. So it's third and three-ish. No, it's third and five. Let's go. I have it on my mind. Let's go with a fire or two. I'll control the... 
middle linebacker. Now, they may just run the ball here. So this may be a mistake on my part. Going with the run. Ah, good play. By you-know-who. Guy's been making plays all day. Just bam. So they're going to punt it, aren't they? So let's get the ball back and see if we can try a little bit better on offense. Back to left hash we go. Yeah, there's a, I'm going to make a change in my playbook. I'll do that in the next game. Let's just get out of bounds. He don't need to get hit. Right hand, or left hash. We'll try this play again. It just hasn't been working any today. They've done a great job against it. What a throw. Great job by the defense. I mean, our, our, our I, I got to stop doing the rollout stuff, at least from this play. For whatever reason, we're just struggling with it. Offensive line, they just they can't handle it. We're very fortunate. Oh, he ended up actually catching it. We lost the yard, though. Let's go. RB deep, let's flip it. We're going man. I'm going to have Ferguson go on a deep. I like that matchup a little bit better. Ugh, bad matchup. That's intercepted. Hey, he overshot it. I wasn't expecting a double team. Of course, somebody came through. Perfect blitz. They went with a stunt. Oh, my offensive line is just having a... What game am I playing? Looks like I'm playing 09 or something. Third and long again. So you know what we got to do. I will right, just go back to deep attack. Zone. Terrible throw. He was open, too. Overshot about, like, 10 yards. Look how open Ferguson was up top. And just made a bad throw. By far his worst throw of the day. Well, for whatever reason, we can't get anything going in this quarter. We'll do another punt. A strong punt, but he's got room to run. All right, let's let our defense handle the load. Let's do 3-4 and let's do quarters. I think they may pass it here. I'm going to leave it as is. Hopefully we don't get shoved around too much. Ah, good. I tried to cut that B gap off, but just couldn't do it. And back to the run game they go, so we got to go back to a one high. I'm going to struggle next year when I go to a pure 3 4. I just don't think we'll be able to stop the run much with it, but we'll see. I went. I, I picked a gap and I went to the wrong one. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 41. The Bronco line up with two tight ends. Good stop there. So it is what? Third and four. Ooh. Let's go back to a one high. I think they may run it. I'll be right here. Ah, wasn't expecting that. Counter. Just perfect play. Just enough of a block, a good block. I don't know. <laughs> what's, what's he doing here? What's this guy? Can't even get my card. What's he doing? He just like done a big swan dive. <sighs> well, Johnson got his yards for the day. Let's do a zone blitz. Since they're about to score, let's just go ahead and just mix some things up. Wouldn't shock me if they ran to the opposite side. Big play. Too bad he didn't fumble it. Having a killer game. Talked his head off. 
I'm gonna call another zone blitz. It's second down and twelve to go. Ball on the fifteen yard line. Let's see with Jones, we can oh went half back direct. Ooh, I'm glad I got around, otherwise that was gonna be six points. So it's third and eight. We'll go cloud. They need eleven yards. The 11, uh, technically they need eight, but they're so close to the end zone. They're going to call a play before the quarter ends. So they will probably go for this. And they will. I'll just call the same thing. Looks like they are definitely going to throw the ball. Defensive end got to him. Good deal. He got to him really quick. Let's go over here. I had just a good little swim move right there. So I don't know where we're at on the field. Let's do... Ooh, okay, I picked the wrong play, but this play will work fine. We're going man. I will... Go over here, just a matchup. Problem for them. Linebacker's too slow for Ferguson. I probably shouldn't have juked there. We're fortunate he did not turn the ball over. Uh, let's uh, let's go. I have a play in mind. Let's go, let's go corners. I haven't called this play in so long. They're going man. We'll have Mullen do that. Good play to Rackley. Just good separation against man. It's always this shallow that does a better job of it. And Rankley is like the slowest of the bunch in terms of our starters. Good little pick play, too. That helps. But he usually gets good separation regardless. So it's first and ten. Uh, I'm trying to think. What do we got? Uh, let's just... We're, our, we're still on the left hash. Let's go with curls. Man, nickel. Then we leave all of that as is and do that. We'll just do a stiff arm. We are on the right hash. Let's go back to slot corners. Going zone. Super close. I don't know if we got it, though. Looks like we didn't. Third and inches. We'll do zig outs. We'll bounce this over to Bess. Uh, let's do that instead. <laughs> that was scary. That could have been really bad. We got the first, though. We'll go Curl Reed. Man, Nickel. I'll leave it all as is. Uh, let's do this instead. I'll, let's see if we can get Rankley over the top. Let's see if we can get a touchdown. Great call. Go to the big guy. It's just easier to go to a deep ball if your wide receiver is 6'5". Good blocking, too, by the offensive line. Much easier to throw to him than it is to Ferguson. The, time, the ball has to be just spot on for that to happen. It also helps that I had time. If you throw a, a deep ball too quickly, the defender can get in front of it and he can get it intercepted. That's what happened on that Ferguson deep ball from earlier. So I am ready to put in some subs. So we're going to just go... I think we got depth everywhere where we can do that. So we're going to go second team across the board. We're going to see Colt Brennan out there. He's I made him my backup for the season. Him and Rolovich are pretty much the same. We'll do another high kick. Now, in terms of... I don't think I have the bodies to do a 3-4. I kind of do. All right. So we can stick with a 3-4. Somebody stop him. Somebody stop him. 
they still are destined to run the ball. I think they've given up, so they're just going to do that. So let's just let's stick with the three four and try some more. Let's do this one high here. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the thirty-eight yard line. The Bronco line up in an eye formation. They'll give it off here. Elamimian. Elamimian. I'm surprised Brad said his name. Third and two, they're going with that. Uh, let's do a 4-4-1 four, four, high. That's a good complement to the 3-4 three, four, is the 4-4. Four, four. At least you got the linebackers to do it. Ah, just couldn't get to him in time. There you go, six points. Well, what do you do? He just broke his three tackles and he's going. Let's see. One. Yeah, just... So we'll try to run some clock and get out of here with a victory. That touchdown doesn't bother me. That was our second string. I just don't expect them to do much with the other team's first string still out there. Now they're going to do onside kick here. We should be able to just get out of the way of this one. Nope. Ah, you got to be kidding. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I say, this never happens. It's a super rare. He just drops it. Normally, he'll catch it or get out of the way one or the other. Gosh. I got to put... Nah, I'm not going to do it. We'll give him one more touchdown. Well, let's do a 4-3 if our 3-4 can't handle it. The Bronco. Line up with two tight ends. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Breaking three tackles. 215 yards on the game. They're not giving up. There he goes. Broken tackle. Broken tackle. Well, if all they care about is him getting his numbers, well, they've succeeded, even though they're going to get beat by 20-something points. Look at this. And that's their fullback. Well, I just... <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, so much for that humongous lead. Now we just have a solid lead. Now we're down three scores. If we could just get the ball back. Don't have anything goofy happen on the onside kick. Just don't kick it right towards me. If you do, at least hopefully he can catch it. Uh, at least he caught it. We'll just get down. Uh, all right. Uh, dang it, we can't. I got a, I don't have the right, I don't have the offensive lineman. We're going to have to go back. Let's do mass subs, put in our first team offense. My right, I don't have enough guards. So let's go back to depth chart. Let's put Brennan in. We'll put Cox in behind Scruggs. And I'll just, mm, we'll put Bess there. McCovey, well, that's good enough. I'm just trying to get my main studs out of the way. Let's just run the ball, run clock. Well, they're going to do that. Uh, let's do this instead. Oh, they're going with a zone. They audibled as well. They went to his zone. Second and two, and he's already gassed. Wow, just like that. They're going man nickel. And they're double teaming him. I'm just going to run the ball. I'll probably get stuffed. We'll let that clock roll a bit. Then we'll just go to a throw or a pass play and just try to pick up the first down to be done with it. Nope, he's going to cover him. 
Good play there. Now he will probably take a break after that one. And he will. So now we got Larson back in. Uh, I don't have the bodies to do that. Well, maybe I do. Let's just let's throw the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-six. Zone. Hawaii in a five-wide set. He's looking. With the throw. Uh, terrible throw. Overshot it. Uh, we need to run the ball. Let's just run the ball. Zone dime. Good solid yardage there. Third and three. Let's just run the ball again. We'll do a dive. Zone nickel. Ooh. Let's see what happens if I do this. Get the first down. Let's end this thing. So we will take a knee going forward. And that is the ball game. So we ended up winning about 21 somehow. It was just a weird, goofy, you know, they had two kickoff returns, and then they scored two touchdowns against our second string. So this game really could have been nasty for them if a couple of those things didn't happen. But they still ended up losing by three scores. One snap ought to do this. We'll check out some stats. They, I think they ran the ball for over 200-something yards, but again, half of that came in the second half. We done a halfway decent job against them when our first string was out there, so I'm not overly worried about what happened today. Cool to show Brandon do that. That could have been a good thumbnail shot if he'd have done anything today, but he did, and so I'm going to give that to somebody else. We'll check out some numbers. They'll get to it. Let's go to stats and scores. They ended up with 256 yards. Again, the rushing, they just, most of that came from there. But look at their passing attack. Their passing game was just beyond non-existent. I, that's the worst passing game I've ever seen for a team that's supposed to kind of throw it at least a little bit. I mean, they're a pro-style team. It's not like they're Wisconsin and that's all they want to do is run it. But as you could tell, they decided to run the ball a ton today. So maybe I'm wrong on that. Either way, you look at our stats. We only ended up with 417 yards. The second half, we didn't get to do much of anything. We ended up with, what, one touchdown in the second half? Passing game was really good, though. 40 of 48, six touchdowns. Big thing is, no turnovers. It's been a while since we've been able to do that. I do want to check out the individual. 39 of 46, six touchdowns, zero picks. Just as good as a game as he has put together thus far. We didn't run the ball enough for this to matter. We're saving. Ferguson, it just happened to get the, him the ball quite a bit. He didn't break his own record. He only had 16 receptions. 135 yards, two touchdowns. Look at all these people who got passing or receiving touchdowns. Ferguson had two. Davis had one. Rackley had one. Bess had one. And uh, G. Mullen had one. So that's cool to see five different guys catch the ball in the end zone of some sort or get to the end zone via a catch. Not one pancake. Of course, we didn't run the ball enough for, I guess, that to matter. MVP of the day is probably this guy right here. Just incredible. He only had five tackles, but one of them was for loss. He had two interceptions. I think he forced a fumble. No, he didn't. Who? Did, somebody else? No, there were no fumbles today, so never mind all that. Anyway, he had a great game. I want to check out the box score. Like I said, tail of two halves for us. We just played perfect football in the first half outside of giving up those two kickoff returns. Then second half, we couldn't get anything going offensively. But in the fourth quarter, once we scored that one touchdown, we just put in our second string after that. Just really weird. Look how many points was in the four, first quarter. What is that, 42 points? And how many in the third? Zero. <laughs> you know, you can't, no answers for that one. That's football for you. All right, let's get out of here. Next up, we have Louisiana Tech. They are 2-2. Two and two. 
even match up talent wise would be minus C, their C plus, so it's about right there. But they got a heavy passing attack. I'm assuming they're going to throw the ball a little bit better than what we just saw against Boise State. They can't run the ball to save their life, and their defense isn't very good. So hopefully we can shred that some. All right, come on back. We'll take on Louisiana Tech, and I'll talk to you later.